Okay, so this this reads, what pl what water column do most of your plugs, uh, the plugs that you throw, swim at night and day? Um, so this is a really good question. Thank you for asking me this. Um, so during the day, as I kind of said earlier in this podcast, um, I fish 99.99% of the time on the surface, and then other 1% I'm fishing just under the surface. Um, and I really like throwing big spooks during the day. It's not big spook, but I like to throw really big spooks during the summer. Uh, you get up early in the morning. I'm talking two, three in the morning. You get out there right as the sun kisses the surface of the, the water and you throw the biggest spook, preferably the uh, Puma Plug Magnum Walker. And you take that thing out. You go to you know your, your good rock spot <laughs> if it's a little foggy all the better and you throw that thing and that is your best shot at getting one of the biggest bass you can get during the day the whole year pretty much that's where it's at i don't care if you're in a river mouth i don't care if you're off the rocks i don't care if you're in shallow back bay waters if you're going to get a big bass it's going to be on a big spook during the day that's what i'm doing um big spooks if it's really crazy nasty out and like middle of the day like you know, nor'east wind, like big storm. Uh, I'm gonna throw a giant Pumbaa pencil, the biggest Pumbaa pencil model, and I'm gonna throw it in bunker. And uh, that thing absolutely tears the water surface up. It's easy to work. And yeah, I mean, that thing, if you're gonna get at the attention of a big bass during the day, that's what I'm throwing. Um, so yeah, that's a really good question. Thank you for asking that. Okay, but not only that, that's daytime right so mostly on top and then i guess if we go subsurface what are we going to go with because i'm fishing pretty much at the surface during the day um, but i don't really fish that much during the day um, i've been fishing in the back bays and estuaries a lot of like algag whippets and sluggos and um just on like little owner beast hooks that are just going i don't know a foot two feet below the surface and i guess the algags are kind of bottom bouncing a little bit but not much and that's really what's been putting in work during this the day during the summer um but again spooks have been working even during the middle of the day little pencils um yeah it's been all that type of stuff uh yeah, I mean, and then if we're going to go into like nighttime fishing, nighttime fishing is a whole, whole new game. So I've been doing some like what I would like to call like really extreme surf casting. Like, I mean, I, oh, also, by the way, thanks everyone that gave me recommendations on wetsuits because I asked that. I ended up just getting like a, uh, what is it called? Uh, wow, I'm blanking on the name. But um, I got just like a normal, just, oh, it was an O'Neill. Uh, just back zip wetsuit. Um, I don't, it was just, it's something just to be able to not have to wear my waders at night, but it was really windy one night that or the night after I got it. And, um, I took it out and I was plugging and it was really windy, really choppy. And I was fishing darters and, uh, bottleneck swimmers and shad swimmers and all that good stuff. So I was really fishing like with the bottlenecks and the darters a foot two feet under the surface of the water but i'm fishing probably eight to maybe ten feet of water at the deepest um but in the shallower sections are like what maybe five feet deep so i'm not fishing that deep but i'm in big boulder fields i'm just gonna set this down so it's not really i'm not messing with it okay um but i'm fishing like in boulder fields so i was just fishing under the surface and i was getting a lot of just nice fish and i was fishing just under the surface there and then i'm fishing rig deals so i've been fishing a lot just like you know in rig deals you can really fish any like a good amount of different water depths but i've been fishing again that just two feet under the surface but as i was saying during the full moon it was really really extraordinarily big like waves and current and tide swings and all this na nice stuff. And so I was fishing eels and I was trying to get them down as deep as possible. I was also fishing like bucktails and stuff and trying to get them down as deep as possible, trying to fish, you know, a few feet off the bottom because that's where I thought those bigger fish would be. And sure enough, the biggest bass out of the whole moon phase uh, was able to get, that I got was really close to the bottom. Like the eel was in a rock, pulled it out of a rock, took a few cranks, bam, I got slammed. So like, that's what it was. And that, that was probably 20 feet deep. 
on that fish. Uh, and it was a nice eel and I let him swing, swim down there. So yeah, I'm fishing a pretty much the whole water column, but it really depends on the night. Uh, that's, that's very important. It's that the swing at night, um, in during the day, what you really want to do is you want to fish from top to bottom or from bottom to top. But if, if you can pick, I'm going to fish kind of middle to start and then I'm either work either way, depending on confidence in plugs. So like if I'm fishing, like if I'm fishing a darter that's diving a two feet under the surface and then I want to get down a little bit deeper, I'm going to go with a shad swimmer. I'm going to rip it a few times and it's going to, that lip on the front of it is going to dive it down really deep. And I can get that thing six, eight feet deep if I want to. And that's down near the bottom. I can bend the, the eye of the uh, metal lip down or up, sorry. And I can get it dive even deeper if I want it to and get it right down in those rocks, bouncing off those rocks there if I really want to. And that's been, that's been really producing that better bite.